It's your boy Pooh Say So. Just jumped out the porch for Dirty Glove Bells. <laughs> All right, so we got my boy Who Say So jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, bro. Yeah. yeah how you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. Yeah, man. Yeah, for folks, you know, just tuning in for you for the first time, we had you on for the live performance a couple months ago, man. So yeah. it feel good to have you come back so you can tell your story and everything too, man. Yeah, I had to come back for the interview. Absolutely, man. Yeah, so for, you know, let, let's just dump, jump right into it. So you're from Chattanooga, right? Yep. Yeah, so like, what was your experience coming up in Chattanooga? It was, it was really a, a little rough, you know. Just had a, you know, single mother, but. And like, what's there to do in Chattanooga too, man, for people that have never been there before? I ain't really too much to do, hmm. but it's just a little small time. Most people come down there for the query. Okay. You know, they yeah. go on their field trips for a query and that's it. Okay. And like, what were your hobbies as a kid? Were you in the sports? Were you always in the music? Or what was you doing as a kid? I wasn't really in the sports. But music, it came around when I started being around people doing music. Okay. So that what made me want to do it. As I see people, I go to the studio with people. And you may want to record. Okay. So when would you say you jumped off the porch then? How old were you? I jumped off the porch like middle school. Okay. Yeah, I started, I started holding the trap down for people. Hmm. Then it really made me want to just jump in. But they ain't really want me in, so, so they snuck in. <laughs> <laughs> you had to sneak in. Yeah. So they were trying to discourage you, like, man, just like kind of focus on school, something more, you know, something else, or? They really wanted me to go to the own. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Oof. Did you consider that at all? No, nah, I will not go up <laughs> in the own. <laughs> but yeah, that's what they wanted me to do. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the army, man, that, that, that feel like a different animal, man. Yeah. Was anyone in your family, like, in, a, in the military or anything like that? No. Nah. A lot of people in the streets in my family. Okay. Well, really, people, a lot of people are locked up in my family. Hmm. So they try to keep me away from that. But. Yeah, so what would you say were like some of the things that drew you in to jumping off the porch so young now? Just really seeing the hands on, seeing, like being around older people. Because when I was young, I ain't hang around people my age. Hmm. I hung around people 10 years older than me. Oh, shit. That's the people I really wanted to be around. So were they kind of preparing you for that life then? They probably didn't know, but it seemed like I wanted to know what was going on. Hmm. And what would you say were like some of the trials and tribulations you went through, you know, coming off the porch that young? Oh, a lot of people, showing, showing people too much stuff. Hmm. Like bringing people along, letting them see what I see. And then they turn around, they want to come around, you know, back door you. Steal, all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you find out real quick, that shit get grimy, man. Yeah. They make it on to have friends at all. <laughs> nah, I dig that. Yeah. <laughs> and what'd you do after school? Did you go to college or did you get a job or you was just in the streets or? Nah, I didn't. I didn't make it through school. Hmm. Got kicked out of school. What grade did you get kicked out of? 10th grade. True. I made the 10th grade, but in school doing when I ain't had no business doing. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been rapping now? I've been rapping for a minute. I've been rapping for like, well, I tried, to, I tried it out when I was like in, in high school, but when I turned like 18, that when I really found it and started performing places and, and then I signed to a label and it wasn't what it was. Hmm. So that kind of held me back because I was saying I tried to figure that out. Why you say it didn't work out? Because like people had you on hold. They had you, you know, trying to wait. Wait on what they got for you. When they could just tell you that they really can't do nothing for you. Hmm. That's real shit. Well, at least you was able to experience that, you know, early in life, you know, as a young age. 
yeah. instead of you know going through that shit later on like right now yeah i think it's a good thing because i really it was like it was like a local label but it helped me to not really want to sign with majors and yeah not just sign so fast if somebody hit me up talking about they want to sign yeah no, that's real because we see that shit every day with these artists the way they just you know not being able to drop their music with their labels, yeah. trying to get out their situation, and they can't yeah. even get out of it, man. They can't. Yeah. That's the thing I'm talking about. They can't drop music, can't do nothing. Like, like you're a slave. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a, a big eye opener for the music industry for you, you know? When you get in there, it's like, oh shit, this yeah. shit ain't what I thought it was gonna be. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's why I said a lot of people wanna rap, but they, the business part, it just, it's too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so how much about the, you know, from the business side did you learn by going through that experience then? Mm. I learned, I learned a lot. Yeah. I learned not to just hurry up and just, I want to sign with this person, can they come sign me type, type shit. Yeah. So when would you say you really started taking this rap shit serious then? I really started taking it serious. Well, like when I left that label alone that I was that I was under. Yeah. And then I just tried to figure it out. I tried to start my own label and that didn't work out. So hmm. I really try to focus on myself. You know how you try to want to help other people when you need to help yourself. Now that's true. It's like you gotta get yeah. yourself through that door before you can help someone else get through it too, man. Yeah. And like, who'd you grow up listening to? Like, who were some of your favorite artists? Yeah, I like Starlito. Okay. Don Tripp, Jeezy. Type of, you know, independent. Teach you the business in the music. Yeah. Yeah, Starlito, my favorite rapper, man. He's yeah. so cold with that shit. Yeah, he, he, speak, he speak his truth. Yeah, it's like he just lets you into his own his own world and everything too, right into his life with his music. Man. Yeah. yeah, he ain't scared to say nothing, <laughs> <laughs> and it teach me not to be scared to say nothing if I need to vent. I just vent on the track. Yeah, and it really it pull more, it pull you know, pull people who going through it to you. Absolutely, yeah. Because with music, if you can relate to someone's music, you're gonna have be a fan for life through that shit too, man. Yeah. That type of fan base I want, like that serious fan base. Yeah, because so many people just, uh, you know, they get built a fan base just by going viral, but shit, yeah. if three, a couple months later, people really ain't rocking and winning no more because they stopped going viral. Yeah, they don't. Then they talk about your bad 10 years later, and it's just, <laughs> <laughs> why did I start rapping? No, that's real. So what's your creative process like? Do you write your raps? Do you punch in? Do both or what? I write. I write because I really like writing. Like some people don't like writing, but it's like when you write, it gives you time to figure out how you want to put it together. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like writing's a lost art these days, huh? Yeah. But that like me, like, like this year I'm writing a movie. And it, it helped me from my music, so, you know, it gave me time. And that thing, people want to, they just want to, I don't write, I don't write. <laughs> I mean, I like writing. So what can you tell us about this movie then? I mean, just a little independent move I'm working on. I ain't going to say too much because I want to come back when it drop. Okay. And give you more details about it, but I'm, that's what I'm working on this year. I got you. Like, I, I slowed down on the music. And I just turned over to working on the move. Okay. Was this something you had in mind for a while? Yeah. Okay. See, this move I'm working on this year, I've been wanting to do this move, like, I've been talking about it 10 years ago. That's it. But now I got with the right people who want to, they want to get in tune with it. Okay. Yeah, and it seems like nowadays, it, it seems like it's easier to make a movie than it was probably 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it really is, because all these cameras, and mm -hmm. then the editing, you know, you get more people 
that's the thing though, it's just more people like focus on movies. Yep. Yeah, and even like distribution wise, like you can get your shit on Tubi, it seems pretty easy now these days too, man. No. So like, when would you say you make your best music dance? Like when you're in a good mood or you're pissed off or you're going through some real life shit or it don't really matter? That's the you. real life shit. When I'm saved, hmm. it's when like, you just scratched out and you just go to the studio. Is it therapeutic when you record, when you, when you know you're going through some shit like that then? Yeah. Cause I can't really make, I really don't record when I just like feel good. It was cool back then, but now it's just like, I gotta go through something. Hmm. You gotta feel it. <laughs> I dig it, man. Uh, so what's your thoughts on the music scene in Chattanooga right now? It seems like, you know, you guys have been having some motion these last couple of years, man. Yeah. I, I support everything Chattanooga doing. Like, I wanna see all on blow. Yeah. And how long you been doing Guala, man? My whole life. Your whole life, okay. Yo, that's my cousin. Oh, that's your cousin? Me and him got the same, we got the same grandma. Oh shit, I didn't know that. Cause his uncle just paid, I mean, his daddy just paid and then my uncle. Oh damn, shit. But I support everything he do. Yeah. So what's that chemistry like when you guys are like, you know, cooking up, creating that? It's just like that. It's like, it's just easy. Cause what he rap about, I relate to a lot. And it's easy for us to collab. Yeah. But we might start cooking up on the mixtape. Okay. We working up on some stuff though. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say that couldn't wait. That that that's all hard, man. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. For real. Especially the visual. I like the visual mm -hmm. more. Yeah, if y'all can get together and make a whole mixtape like that, that shit yeah. could do some damage, huh? Yeah, that's what I tell him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you remember that studio session? Like, what was the inspiration for that song? It was, he had it. He had some when I came in. But see, Guala, man, he wanted them. He, he already had it in his head how he wanted it to work. Because he put that together. Because when I first heard it, I was like, Oh man, you done gave me one. <laughs> so I ain't really just rush it. But it was crazy. No, it turned out really good too, man. Yeah. Um, did that. Yeah. So talk about this new single, Wake and Shake, man. Motivation. Hmm. That is that motivation. I'm, worried, I'm about to start shooting a video. Okay. I'm gonna shoot that video. But I just feel like it's one, like, it's a producer, a producer I know. He been sending me beats since, you know, the last little, when I came here and performed. That's how I linked up with that. Oh, for real? Yeah, he said, I got some beats for you. I just seen off the porch. That's it. <laughs> that's how that happened. <laughs> and that's magic, like. Yeah. No, I fuck with that song too, man. No. But more motivation. Yeah. Do you got a concept picked out for the music video or like what, what, what direction you plan to go with it? Yeah, I got a concept for it. Like you gotta, you gotta wake and shake. Like you gotta get up and get it. Okay. You know how people be like wake and bake? <laughs> I felt like wake and shake, <laughs> so. I dig it. Yeah. And you got the new project out right now, Survive the Trap 2. Yeah. Pushing that. See, the thing is, when I start working on that, like I lost my sister not too too long ago, sure. but it, it motivated me. I started thinking about her because she used to love anything I do. Hmm. So that's where that motivation come from. Because the one, I ain't, I ain't think I was going to do it too. But I said, I need to do that too. That's the one I'm pushing right now. Okay. And for people that haven't heard, like what type of vibes is on this project? It's on Savada Trap. <laughs> it's also it's also like some trap shit. Okay. 
Trap out. You got a personal favorite song on there? Um, I got this one on though. It's called Dad Young. It's more like all the hustles who Dad Young. Cause that was inspired by like the Young Dolph situation. Okay. I used to listen to Dolph a lot too. That that one of my favorite. Yeah, I feel like that type of music, that motivation music that Dolph was dropping, man, that shit missing these days. Man. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, that wake and shake music. Yeah, now it seems like every day people just rapping about like perks and drill shit and all that. Yeah, and not more, how to get some money. It's more users rapping than people who trying to survive. Hmm. That's very true. I'm going to bring that back for him, though. Yeah. That was that survived the trap, too, for us. So when they hear that, they want to be motivated. OK. Plan to shoot any videos off of that? I got some working on that Wake and Shake. That's the intro wood. OK. And I don't, I don't know which one I'm going to do next. But I got the one called Tour on, though. Like tour, it's really like, you know, how you try to, you try to um, motivate people, uh, try to show people the way. That was the song really mean, like tour. I might shoot a video to that. Okay, yeah. Who's some of the cameramen you be working with up there? To be honest, though, the cameraman's up there. <laughs> It's been a lot of bad business. For real? <laughs> yeah. I can't really, I can't really name too many. Okay. Like, they just run off on you or they take too long to edit that shit? No, it's just that, you know, some, I just feel like some people got their favor, you know. <laughs> but then it's just like the editing and a lot of that. So I really can't, I really can't speak on that. Okay. <laughs> Talk about this famous animal freestyle. You went crazy on that shit. Oh, <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Yeah, that one's special. Hmm. Um, I mean, did what I did on. Hmm. Did you ever drop that song? Nah, I ain't dropped it. Um, I think you should put that one out, man. I don't think that's out yet, but okay. Was that, that was just one of the more when I went in there, and it was, you know, you gotta bring it back, like, <laughs> like the old school, like the metaphors and the and the bars. Not for real, like that made dude. That that shit remind me of like some Master P shit when you uh, performed it up here. Yeah. And the thing is, I dropped that song like I dropped that song like years ago. Oh, for real? But I went back in my file because you know some of these songs don't really be heard. heard. And that's one of the songs they took down off Spin Roller. Oh shit! I think it was on one of them tapes that went did a lot of views. And but one of my homeboys produced that I went to school with. Okay. So a lot of my producers, I really I really know them. I dig it. So are you working on a new project right now, or are you just really sh still pushing the Survive the Trap too? I'm pushing Survive the Trap too. I'm working on the movie. OK. Yeah. But when that movie come out, I'll be back here to promote it. OK. <laughs> yeah, but I'm really, like, really working on that movie. Hmm. I can't wait to check this shit out, man. Yeah. I want to tell you who in it, but I'm just... <laughs> oh. Not surprise me if you got Yeah, to, I want to surprise me. Have you started shooting it or you just been writing it? Been writing. Okay. I'm going to start shooting like this month, I think, on the 18th. I oh, think we got a date for it. Okay. So real soon then. Yeah. No, that's all right, man. That's my mind fuck with this, yo. I can and, and, and push the Savannah truck too. Yeah. Uh, what's the label situation like right now? Are you still independent? Yeah, I'm independent. Okay. Yeah, if a label come back, you know, I'm gonna need some partnership. Like, 
on just saying. Yeah. Yeah, speak on, you know, the grind that it takes to, you know, make it as an independent artist right now today. Take a lot. <laughs> if anybody out there is trying to push their music independent, it's gonna take a lot. Yeah. It'll take a lot of investment. Absolutely, man. Yeah. And what's some goals you got set for, you know, 2024 and beyond? I might start back. I might start back recording 2024. Because I want to make this movie special, but I might start back recording. Okay. But anything can happen this year. Hmm. I might can get signed. Anything can happen. I got you. What's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now today? Just really focus on yourself. Like invest in yourself. Don't get distracted. Nah, I dig that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and plug your social media so everyone know where to follow, follow you at. Well, you can follow me on IG at Black Rob Zombie and Facebook Poo Say So, YouTube Poo Say So. How'd you come up with that Black Rob Zombie, man? So it was the movie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shooting movies, like he really wanted. To, he motivated me. As like on the horror side, mm -hmm. but I like the way he make his movies. Man, them shit's so graphic and gory, you know? Like, yeah. like you gonna remember a Rob Zombie movie when you see yeah. that shit. Uh, like, I really, I really, I really mess with on Rob Zombie. Yeah. Um, anything else you working on right now that you can reveal? Um, just pushing that Savannah trap too. Okay. Plans to put it on uh, all platforms too? Yeah, I, I, I should put it on all platforms. I'm put it on all platform. Okay. Yeah, throw that bitch on Apple and Spotify, bro. Yeah. Uh, you got a shout out you want to give? Just shout out my mom. Earthquake, that fuck a day. I'd rather take her to the trip. Trip, it had another.